Hello, this is RJ Dent in my library. Today I'm going to be looking at the works of John Fowles, an English novelist, um, lived most of his life in Lyme Regis, spent a bit of time on one of the Greek islands. The first book of his novel that I'd like to look at, first published novel, is The Collector. Um, short, taut thriller made into a film starring uh, Terence Stamp, I believe. A very, very good uh, uh, novel. Um, the next uh, one is um, a non-fiction work, which is um, Fowles claimed to be his philosophy. He said that he had to write it to get all of the bad philosophy out of him so that he could concentrate on his other novels. The Aristos or the Aristos, depending on your pronunciation. Book of Aphorisms, Short Pieces of Philosophy, and so on and so forth. Next one is the um, the Magus. Um, this is the um, first version that fell. He brought out two versions, a revised version, which we'll get to in a while. Um, this is the first version with a strongly... Uh, it was influenced by Henry James. It's got a very strong supernatural element to it. Uh, originally it was going to be called The God Game. Uh, Fowl thought I would give it away, so he changed the title to Magus. Um, then um, he uh, wrote the one that is famous for, I suppose, The French Lieutenant's Woman, um, made into a film with Jeremy Irons and Meryl Streep. Um, uh, sort of a pseudo or mock Victorian novel. Um, Fowles also claimed in uh, French Lieutenant's Woman that he would try not to have any words in it that weren't in use in Victorian times and he said he failed because he'd included the word elastic in it, which wasn't around then. Uh, the next is a collection of short stories, The Ebony Tower. Uh, the Ebony Tower is um, a story that has a similar theme to the Magus. There's also one of uh, Fowles' translations in there, and a couple of other very interesting short stories. Uh, we then have another copy of the French Lieutenant's Woman, and then we have the Magus, a revised version. This is the one where um, Fowles sort of toned down the supernatural elements in fa favour of a more naturalistic style very good version. They're both good, both worth reading. Um, the next, uh, sorry, another copy of the Magus there, the revised version in paperback. Then we move on to Daniel Martin, which is um, a novel about um, Hollywood screenwriter and his trials and tribulations in his life. Very very powerful opening uh, scene with a, a wartime aeroplane flying across a Somerset field. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we then have Mantissa, which is um, an interesting battle of the sexes, which may or may not take place in someone's mind. Uh, paperback version of Mantissa there. As you can see, very good. Yep, um, funny as well. Uh, me, I'm just going to move around here so we can have a look at this in a bit more detail. <coughs> we then have a copy of A Maggot. Now this is um, Fowl's courtroom drama, if you like, with a very interesting premise at the start. I then get a copy of the tree, his non-fiction essay about the life of a tree, similar to, in a way to um, T. E. Lawrence's The Forest Giant. Uh, then got a signed copy of the tree, uh, signed by John Fowles. Well, oh, obviously an old man's signature there, but nonetheless John Fowles thing, and uh, signed to me. And then a book by uh, Peter Conradi about the works of John Fowles. And that is my John Fowles collection, of which I am very proud.